Hey everyone, my name is Gloria and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be going through some of the books that I want to or hope to get to this summer. I put this list together by mostly just going through my TBR and picking books that had summery looking covers or titles or books that sound interesting to me that I want to read soon. And so I have a list of 10 books that I hope to get to this summer. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. The first book that I want to hopefully get to this summer is Dry by Neil Schusterman. I read the Scythe series last year and I really did enjoy them overall. They are a young adult dystopian series and this book also is a young adult dystopian science fiction. Science fiction is not really my genre of choice, but I dabble here and there. This book I picked out because of the cover, because it's summer and it's going to be hot, right? Fingers crossed it'll be a nice hot summer. But this book follows a teenage girl who lives in a California suburb and there is this severe drought in California called the tap out because all of a sudden the taps stop running water and everyone goes into a panic frenzy looking for water. I feel like that sounds very interesting and totally something that I would enjoy. If it's fast paced, I feel like that's also something that I would totally enjoy. Then the next one I put on this list is The Night Swim by Megan Golden. This is a suspense mystery thriller. It follows a girl who runs a crime thriller podcast and there is this infamous rape trial happening in this small town and she's covering it on her podcast and I think that she gets sucked into the investigation because she keeps getting letters or notes from some mysterious person. I know that this book deals with a very heavy topic, sexual abuse, but I've heard good things about it. I mean, I put it on my summer list because swim is in the title. I don't know if that's accurate, but I make my own rules here. Then I have a list of historical fiction, which is my favorite genre. So the first one on my list to read this summer is Florence Adler Swims Forever by Rachel Beanland. A little blurb for this book says, over the course of one summer that begins with a shocking tragedy, three generations of the Adler family grapple with heartbreak, romance, and the weight of family secrets. And I know that the main plot of the story surrounds Florence Adler, who wants to swim across the English Channel. And I know that there's some ties to World War II and Nazi Germany as well, but it just feels like a really interesting historical fiction and just a subject that I don't usually read or know much about in terms of like being a professional swimmer. Sounds really cool and summery and interesting. And next on the list is The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. I actually already started this book. I tried the first chapter in my try a chapter video and this book came out on top of the most intriguing book that I want to pick up soon and so I will definitely be picking it up this summer. This is a historical fiction set in America during the depression era Dust Bowl and it follows a mother-daughter relationship but all I've learned so far is that Elsa is the main character and she's kind of the black sheep and outcast of the family but she has these dreams and aspirations to find love and be beautiful and live a good life and no one in her family thinks that she's going to accomplish that. I know this is one of the most popular anticipated historical fictions of 2021. I've heard really good things about it. I heard it'll make me cry. Totally a book that is up my alley and I'm excited to pick it up this summer. The next book on this list I actually have just seen showing up on various lists on the internet and Goodreads recommendations. I haven't heard anyone talk about it that they've read it but it just it looks really good sounds really good and has kind of a summery cover with the orange and yellow and clouds but it is the great circle by maggie shipstead this is also a 2021 new release and the little blurb says spanning prohibition era montana the pacific northwest alaska new zealand wartime london and modern day los angeles Great Circle tells the unforgettable story of a daredevil female aviator determined to chart her own course in life at any cost. And the story starts in 1914 and kind of spans this epic saga of female aviators. I'm very excited to pick it up. I'm hoping it's good because then I can talk about it because I have so far heard no one else on booktube here talking about this book. So we'll see. Another historical fiction that I want to read this summer is Hum If You Don't Know the Words by Bianca 
Verize. I've seen this book talked about and praised from a few people here on booktube that I subscribe to. This is set in Johannesburg, South Africa, and the little blurb says that it is a searing look at apartheid era South Africa told through one unique family brought together by tragedy. I've only heard good things and very high ratings about this book, so I'm very much predicting a five star read for me. The last historical fiction on this list is The Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. What I know about this book is that it is a story told by the wife and four daughters of Nathan Price, a fierce evangelical Baptist who takes his family and mission to the Belgian Congo in 1959. And I know that this book is sad, a little intense, and it deals with the repercussions of being a missionary family in Africa. I've heard good things about it. Also kind of drawn to the cover, felt summary to me, but totally a historical fiction story that I would love to dive into. And a couple of my friends love this book. It's one of their favorites. So I have high hopes. And next I have one classic on this list that I really hope to get to this summer. And it is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Pride and Prejudice, the 2005 movie is one of my all time favorite movies. I've probably watched it 50 times and I have never read Pride and Prejudice. I have never read a Jane Austen and I really need to change that this year. Looking through lists on the internet about books I need to read this summer, classics specifically, Pride and Prejudice was at the top of the list. So that's kind of why I was like, I should, I should really put it on this list and I do want to get to it. So why not pick it up this summer? It feels like a summer reread. At least the movie evokes that. So I imagine that the book does too. So that's why I'm really hoping to get to it this summer. The last two books on my list are both nonfiction. I'm a very big nonfiction reader and I would have put more on this list. I had a hard time seeking out any nonfiction that screamed summer, but I put two on this list and I know that I will read a lot more. They just don't really have anything to do with summer. But regardless, the ninth book on this list and the first nonfiction is The Sun Does Shine, How I Found Life and Freedom on Death Row by Anthony Ray Hinton. I picked this book off my TBR because the word sun and shine were in the title, but this book has to do with a very heavy topic, which is being incarcerated and being a death row inmate. I absolutely loved the book Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. I read earlier this year and this seems like a very fitting companion read to it. I'm very excited to dive into this one. I'm very much interested to learn and hear the story. It sounds incredible. And finally, the last book on this list and a book that I hope to get to this summer is Killers of the Flower Moon, The Osage Murders and the Birth of the FBI by David Gran. I actually started this book in November, I think, and got to page 40 or so. But then I was a little bit overwhelmed with my booktube TBR and just had a bunch of other things that I wanted to read. This one got set aside, but I definitely want to pick it up. Very much interested in the story and the movies coming out this year with Leonardo DiCaprio. So I really want to read the book in preparation for that. The little blurb about it is, in the 1920s, the richest people per capita in the world were members of the Osage Indian Nation in Oklahoma due to the oil that was found in their land. Then mysteriously, they begin getting killed off one by one and a newly formed FBI begins an investigation and they hire a rogue Texas Ranger to investigate what's going on. And I'm assuming that the Texas Ranger in this story is going to be the character that Leonardo DiCaprio plays. Even though I stopped this book, I still want to pick it up and it was very intriguing. It very much read like a fiction murder mystery with just a lot more historical dates and setting in it, but I'm excited to pick this one up too. There's my list. I am very much excited to read a lot of really good books this summer. Let me know if you have any recommendations for me or if you've read any of those and like them. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye!